Good morning, Barrel Buddies. This is the second week of, week of actual school. Hi again. I hope you liked the first week of actual school. I liked it a lot. Please stand for the pledge, pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's check in with our special reporters to learn about this week in history and some tips for being a barrel buddy. This week in history. On November 16, 2001, the first Harry Potter films open. opens. J.K. Rowling's star creates a story about a boy wizard named Harry Potter. It is one of the highest grossing movies in history. On November 18, 1883, railroads create the first time zones. American and Canadian railroads be began using four continental time zones. On November 21, 1877, the American inventor Thomas Edison announces his invention of phonograph. It's a way to record and play back sound. On November 22, 1900, first Mercedes goes for, goes for a test drive. The car was specially built for its buyer, Emil Jelinek, a businessman with a passion for fast, flashy cars. Celebrations this week. National Scholarship Month, November 16th is National Button Day, November 18th is Mickey Mouse Day, November 19th is Play Monopoly's Day, and November 20th is Universal Children's Day, and November 26th is Thanksgiving. The tech tip of the week is, search engines are not as smart as you, and they, are, and they sure can't tell what you are thinking. Be sure to use descriptive words and phrases. For example, search top rated games, not just good games. Buddies are brave. This week, buddies are valued. Be a valued buddy by encouraging, by encouraging others, listen to others, and remind yourself that you're important in a classroom community. And here is Dr. Sabatini with the principal's updates. Good morning, Barrow Buddies. Another week at Barrow School. We had a wonderful week last week with some students returning in person and some students joining new virtual community classrooms. And I hope everybody enjoyed their new experience. Um, and we have another week ahead of us. So um, I wanna thank all of our teachers for being absolutely amazing this past week and teaching so many routines and having patience and working so hard with all of our buddies to have a great week that we had last week. Students, I wanna recognize all of you for doing an awesome job coming into school by yourselves. We don't have parents walking us to class and a lot of you just did such a great job with that. Finding your, your classrooms, even though you haven't been to the school building in months and months, you've done a great job wearing masks and following reminders when teachers ask you to pull your mask up, everyone does that nicely. Um, last week, we all learned how to walk on our dots and stand socially distanced and everyone's doing a great job with that and waiting patiently in different places like the lunch line and specials. So keep up all that great work. We're going to keep moving ahead this coming week with practicing our routines and uh, making sure that we all stay safe at Barrow. Um, that is our number one goal. We want to follow all the safety rules that we can keep coming back to Barrow and having our virtual buddies join us soon too. So that's why we're doing all these new routines um, so that we can stay healthy and safe. I have a few things I wanna remind students about. We're gonna talk a little bit about the cafeteria because I've been in the cafeteria every day um, for all the lunch shifts. And so I just wanna give you all a few reminders that that is one place we really need to make sure we're following rules when you're having lunch because that's a time when we're not wearing masks. So we're eating and um, 
our mouths are open and we're breathing on people and we're chewing and talking. And that's a time when we could possibly increase our risk of not being healthy and safe and spreading germs. So it's really important that when we're in the cafeteria or eating in our classroom or eating outside that we're following our safety procedures. So when you're in the cafeteria, um, so far everyone's doing an awesome job standing in line and waiting patiently and going through the lunch line politely, that's been great. Um, when it's your day to eat in the cafeteria, please make sure that you're staying in your seat at all times. We can't have students getting up and walking to other tables or talking to friends that way. And it's really important that you keep your distance. You notice that we only have four seats at a table and they're kind of spread out so that you're not right up close to somebody when you're eating your lunch. So make sure you're not moving your chairs to be closer to buddies. I know it's really hard and you wanna to talk to friends, but we're keeping chairs distance for a reason. If you need help when you're in the cafeteria, make sure you just raise your hand and a grown up will come and help you. And this is really important. I'm not sure we talked about this, but absolutely no food sharing. So you cannot share food. That's a rule across our whole school district. So you need to keep your own food, not share food um, and make sure that you're not, yeah, not sharing food across the table. Make sure you keep your space clean and pick up all your trash. Yesterday when we were cleaning up the terrace, we know a lot of students threw litter on the ground. And I bet that's probably happening when you're eating outside too. So we wanna keep our campus clean um, and we wanna make sure we're not littering. So all of your trash needs to stay with you and make sure you clean that up so our school building stays nice and clean. And when you're done eating, put your mask back on. That way you can talk to your neighbors without spreading germs as much and um, you can finish your lunch that way. The last thing I wanna just make sure everyone knows about is attendance is really important. Whether you are in virtual school or in person, we want you here every day unless you're sick. So make sure that you are getting to school on time so that you don't miss your morning meeting. Virtual students, we need you logging in right on time and staying with your teacher the whole time so that you're learning everything that you need to learn in your grade level this year. So attendance and following safety rules are things we really wanna focus on this week. We have one more week ahead of us and then we have a little break for Thanksgiving. So I know it's gonna be a great week. Let's talk about birthdays. This week, happy birthday to Carter Appling, Chris Saya Cooper, Wyatt Welter, William Leach, Addie Hewitt, Caden Tarway, Luke Kelly, and Emma Ray Westlake. And we have coming up also, this is all over Thanksgiving break as well, Jade Snow, Nevea Tooks, Josiah Nash, Jaden Turner, Adriana Azuna, Meryl Whetstone, Miriam Ahmed, John Cook, Maya Rucker, Tatiana Tarway, Valerie Zapata, and Theodore Chen. And some teachers have birthdays coming up. Ms. Donata has a birthday this week, and Ms. D, Coach D, has a birthday over Thanksgiving break. Happy birthday, buddies. Ms. Brink and Ms. Samantha would like to give a gigantic shout out to Elizabeth Hodge and Anna French for being amazing second graders who are working hard in second grade to be brave bear buddies. They're almost always caught doing the right thing and we are earning so many class dojo points. Keep up the great work, ladies. Hope y'all have a great week. As a bear buddy, I promise to be fair, honest, and trustworthy, even when no one is looking because that is the right thing to do. <clears throat> My good choices will help make Barrow excellent. We will now observe Ramona's lines before we begin to focus all of our attention on thinking, learning, and working. Have a great day. <laughs>